when you see somebody work on Kubernetes for the first time and they realize what it's actually capable of doing and they get this, this spark of like, wow, that was really amazing. That was, that was incredible. I didn't know I could do that. That moment is what keeps me going. Kubernetes is a container management platform. It's open source. Uh, if you have a collection of machines, you can package up your applications in containers and give it to Kubernetes and it'll run it for you. What it gives developers is actually the luxury of not caring about the infrastructure. Kubernetes on its own is taking care of monitoring, logging, scaling, and other things that are required in order managing applications in productions at scale. Kubernetes, the word stands for helmsman. Kubernetes is that system that makes sure that your applications are always afloat and always accessible in a sea of resources that is the cloud. It was really critical, in my opinion, to open source Kubernetes. So Google started the project based on what we knew about how things work inside of Google. But having contributors like Red Hat and others allowed us to actually figure out how to make it work for the outside world. And that was a key to success for Kubernetes. We really needed to think about the adoption, what the customers will know or the users. So originally, we really were focusing on ease of use and documentation and understanding like what is their familiarity in order for them to use the technology. About six months of work, we delivered something of value to external customers. GKE is probably the best production-ready Kubernetes install you can get. You click a single button, and in about five minutes, we'll give you this production-ready cluster with full lifecycle management. So what we're trying to do is take GKE and package up an Anthos and give you the ability to do the same thing on-prem and even other cloud providers. We move from a standard processing to a microservices processing, and without Kubernetes, there was no way to do that. It's an open source, so it was important for us not to be glued in, in a provider. So now in our on-premise, we are deploying Kubernetes ourselves, and on GCP, we are using uh, GKE. Kubernetes is everywhere. It's being used by your bank, your retailer, your pizza shop. Pizza Hut uses Kubernetes to run a large portion of our e-commerce services and infrastructure. It's extremely important for us that our services be available when our customers want to purchase food from us. Kubernetes has impacted our business by giving us just a really great, fast speed to market on delivering technology. We made the migration from Azure to GCP. Uh, we did it for a couple of major reasons. First off, the quality of engineering on GCP. The second piece that was really big was Kubernetes. Like we our development company, we're all about helping people write the next thing they want to build. And that's going to be done on Kubernetes. The future of Kubernetes, it's very similar to what infrastructure are doing for Google developers. We want to empower developers everywhere to innovate without needing to care about infrastructure or problems that we already solved for them. And we started seeing some sparks of those kind of things, really amazing innovation of what people are using Kubernetes for. And I expect we'll see more and more amazing ideas and how software is really changing the world. Yeah, I can't believe I'm talking to software, but happy anniversary, Kubernetes. Happy birthday to Kubernetes, the project, and the community. And thank you so much to the thousands of people who make my life very, very exciting. Happy fifth anniversary, Kubernetes. You continue to inspire and amaze.